because we are children of the sun. The sun is the source of electricity and your cells need to be charged up. That's why you have something called a cell phone and then you have cells that make up your body. So you have a cell phone and then you have cells in your body. And then when you look at a battery, if a cell dies in the battery, the battery won't start the car. Absolutely. If cells die in your body and your body won't regenerate those cells, you die. If your cell phone die, what you gotta do? You have to plug it into the source for it can be recharged again, for it can do its daily functioning. Wow. The, the sun is so amazing because if, if it wasn't for the sun, we wouldn't be here. The sun have, have literally manifested all things into physical form. The sun is the first First thing that created all matter and it does it through something called terahertz and these terahertz is basically wavelengths and when the wavelengths are very very far apart that's where you get the infrared from then once it, once it get tighter and tighter and it speeds up and the terahertz get higher that's where you start looking at the rainbow and it goes through these different color spectrums right so your body is made of melanin or what they call melanin right, right. and melanin is a, a super conductor type of material not only that it's a polymer meaning it buffers out acids it causes the body to detoxify and it also holds on to magnetic energy and electrical energy at that so you have melanin in your body then you have something called chromophores and what chromophores is if you look inside of a cell because the body is made of 150 trillion cells inside of the cells you have something called a six carbon based ring or what they call benzene rings these are chromophores then you have amino acids so the body is made of minerals the body is made of melanin the body is made of carbon the body is made of amino acids all in water a bunch of water and every function in your body require water so all of these different things when you look them up it's something called chromophores and if you look at what a chromophore is it's literally an element that holds sunlight so you have to ask yourself if the body is made of 150 trillion cells and out of 150 trillion cells all 150 trillion cells have chromophores carbons in them to hold sunlight then what is the purpose of your body then it's to hold the sunlight and the information so then when you start looking at what it's for every biological process in your body requires sunlight every last one of them God. every last one of them your blood will not flow without these chromophores getting sunlight so sunlight hits the blood when sunlight hits the blood the electrical magnetic frequency folds proteins when the proteins is fold it gets a signal and it tells the protein what to do whether it's going to go through something called protein synthesis whether it's going to go through protein mitosis and break down and then go through apoptosis and then leave out through through your urine or through your, your poop by defecation your awakening and sleep patterns the way you wake up and go to sleep when you wake up the reason why you wake up is because the sunlight this infrared light hit the retinas of your eyes it actually go through something called melanopsis the melaninopsis or the melanopsis wake you up because you just had that blue ra that blue radioactive sunlight in you now as soon as you get up guess what the sunlight do you start producing and releasing serotonin serotonin is what makes you serious it brings on your focus it makes your stomach growl it makes you hungry your sex is built off of serotonin how much serotonin and testosterone you have that's what makes you want to reproduce and repopulate this is serotonin serotonin is made during the night and released during the rising melatonin is actually made during the day and secreted in your bloodstream during the night but all of this is based off of the sun so you can't get any type of hunger pains without the sun. You can't break down your food and digest your food without the sun. You can't make your blood flow or fold proteins without the sun. So you have something called the mitochondrial organelle in your cells. So me and you sitting up here talking and breathing right now because we're going through a process called cellular respiration. Have you ever heard of that? No, sir. So, so when you look at cellular respiration, it's just a five-step series where glucose is actually turned into carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is actually turned into water, and water in your cells is used as fuel to give you vitality, power, and just the will to live. So this is what the mitochondria does. Well, in order for the mitochondria to do that, guess what you need? sunlight it's a fourth phase it's the fourth phase of this five-step respiratory process that you need to create oxygen and water to give you that power guess what it needs to actually fold those proteins and does it it needs sunlight and if you look at the process of it when you break open this actual mitochondria it have something called these zinc rings zinc and copper and these these little metal shavings trace minerals that you get from your food but guess what you can't even activate those trace minerals without sunlight this is the copper zinc superoxide dismutase protein with one superoxide molecule complex to each active site the role of the copper zinc superoxide dismutase system is to catalyze the conversion of a potentially toxic superoxide anion 
and convert it into the less toxic substances hydrogen peroxide and dioxygen. So sunlight is essential for life. For life.